Zoomers Out of This World Christmas, written and illustrated by Ned Young. Twas the day before Christmas, and Hooper, Cooper, and their little brother Zoomer were on the lookout for flying reindeer. Be sure to yell if you see anything unusual, Zoomer told his brothers. I do, I do, called Cooper, pointing at Zoomer's cardboard antlers. Very funny, said Zoomer. Stop goofing around, yelled Hooper. This could be it. Something is coming this way, and it's coming in fast. Really, really fast. The pups all ducked for cover as the something shot past them and landed with a loud boom in the backyard. Boys, called Dad. What's all the noise about? I'm not sure, answered Zoomer, but I think Santa just landed in the backyard. Zoomer, Dad chuckled, where does he come up with this stuff? But as the pups reached the backyard, they soon realized it wasn't Santa. Wow, whispered Cooper, what do you think it is? Before they had time to wonder, the spaceship's door slowly began to open. And out stepped a family from outer space, their robot and their pet, a yarple-headed gigantiziller. Welcome to our backyard, said Zoomer with a bow. They replied with friendly smiles. Then the space family invited Zoomer and his brothers to share their picnic. They feasted on kukaloon sandwiches, zabluki salad, and blop wapple pie, and washed it all down with some zoinkinfizz soda. Everything was out of this world delicious. After their meal, the space kids taught Zoomer and his brothers how to play Zlamaru. It was a lot like soccer, only much bigger. After the game, the space mom set up a force field swimming pool for the kids, while the space dad inspected their space cruiser for takeoff. Swimming made Zoomer hungry. And when he got out of the pool in search of a snack, he saw the space dad shaking his head. The saucer was damaged when it landed, translated the robot. It will take weeks for a new part to be delivered. Zoomer knew that the family wanted to get home in time for Santa's arrival, so he thought of a solution. But it meant giving up his favorite toy. With Zoomer's trike in place, the spaceship was ready for takeoff. But before they got on board, the space kids gave Hooper, Cooper, and Zoomer something they'd picked up during their travels. Wow, thanks, said Zoomer. The brothers waved until the spaceship flew out of sight. Then Hooper turned to Zoomer and said, That was a really nice thing you did. Back home, the boys unwrapped their gift and found the perfect place to display their very own star. That evening, the Earth family ate a wonderful mom-made dinner. Then the pups hung up their stockings and were hugged and tucked into a warm bed. Early the next morning, the pups couldn't wait to see if Santa had stopped by. Hooper received a robot, Cooper a Viking ship, and Zoomer a new bicycle. And on the handlebars was a note. Dear Zoomer, Hooper was right. It was a really nice thing you did. Merry Christmas from Santa. Merry Christmas to all.
Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.